And the next up is uh, Siva Kulan, he's the CEO of Udras and Gail Tukta. Um, and Siva is going to just give a brief presentation to Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Just before we made it, right? Um, Kim Gail made a fall to Ruby Cha in similar to how to show in you, I guess, a Sulam Gumani ship, a Saltas, we ship a Bergan Saltas, a Doris Chogi, the Cantor, all in we all. I would like to welcome you all to this uh, Smart Grid and Technology Watch event. As you can see from the program, uh, we have an exciting lineup of speakers today and a uh, uh, great lineup of topics. Now, I'm delighted that Udra Sagaeltata are the lead partners in this project. And uh, we are hosting this event along with our 10 other partners from uh, England, Scotland, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Uh, for you, those of you not from here, Udras is the regional development agency responsible for the economic, social, and cultural development within the Gaeltata areas. Those areas that stretch along the west coast, predominantly along the west coast, down along uh, Kerry, Galway, Mayo, and Donegal, of course, Mayo. As you know, we are blessed to have a lot of uh, strong winds along the west coast and we have resources and uh, there's also a solar potential there that's just been developed. Uh, the development of Smart Bay in uh, Galway and the Amets or the Atlantic Marine Energy Test Site here in Belmullet in County Mayo and numerous other potential developments in wind energy in, in the area provide both opportunities and challenges for us. However, as the development of any natural resource, the community engagement in the development of, an, of this resource is vital. Renewable energy and distributive uh, generation and smart grid are important economic activities for Ireland and indeed for Europe and are key to achieving uh, climate change targets and the transition to a low carbon society. The first part of today's session uh, would provide us with an insight into the policy, policy issues in both Ireland and at a European level. The second part of the day will showcase opportunities for SMEs in this sector and the supports available to SMEs to engage in research and development so as to make their product services both innovative and competitive. Uh, I'd recommend to all attendees to use this day as a networking opportunity and visit the networking stand beside the lecture vehicle down in the hall here. And as the Irish saying goes, which translates roughly as the collective is always better than the sum of the parts. This project is funded by the Interreg 4B programme and other project partners to the tune of 3 billion. And the principal aim is to accelerate the deployment of smart grid in Northwest Europe. The project aims to encourage communities and SMEs to develop technological solutions for smart grid, renewable energy and distributive generation. It would also research and develop policy issues for regulatory authorities and provide structured cooperation opportunities between SMEs, the research institutes, and the technology developers. I think that's the key for this project really, is that uh, when you bring together the institutes, uh, the innovators, uh, and uh, the, 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 that uh, together they can provide a greater sum of, of the parts. At a practical level, the voucher scheme is administered by the Great Project Executives provides an ex exciting opportunity for SMEs in the west of Ireland to engage with smart grid technology and renewable energy companies to develop new international business opportunities in either of the partner regions. Companies who would like to get more information on the voucher scheme should speak to our colleagues uh, Sean O'Gallagher, Sean O'Keshla, or Orle, Dr. Orle Yaksemine during the day. Udaraz is confident that this initiative will lead to new opportunities for SMEs and help create additional climate opportunities in the emerging markets. I would like to thank all speakers for their contributions today. I would like to acknowledge the support of the Northwest Europe and our great partners, appreciate the support of our sponsors, and thank Joe Durkin of SEIAI, who chairs this session today. And finally, I hope that you'll have an enjoyable and productive day here today and that the conference can help us all face the challenges and opportunities presented by the nexus of renewable energy, distributive generation and smart grid development. Uh, 
Ashley Newling on on Netflix and the horror the figure. Agus was special to warm books like the Orla. You see that Agus Michael Mangan the top fifty in Tower and Charlie O. Agus Warren Kahra Harry and Fun Session Show for me to Thank you.